Hello everyone, this is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, here with another exciting video. In this video, I'm going to be playing some AI Dungeon 2. Some AI Dungeon 2. In this video, I'm going to be playing as the open source superhero Weapon Ultra. If you're not familiar with the character, don't worry, you'll learn as much as you need to know about the character in this episode. I've been doing a series of AI Dungeon 2 videos based on Weapon Ultra, and I have a whole playlist of Weapon Ultra videos on the channel, so I highly recommend that you check those out. Without further ado, let's hop right into this adventure. What I'm going to do now is reset the 30 minute timer, hit start, and let's hop on in and hit play. Do 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 a a do 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 hmm hit retry on that. Um I saw that the AI was uh referring to it as a game and I don't want that. Let's see. You are Wayne Holt. You are a highly regarded agent of the CIA. You are also a famous superhero known as Weapon Ultra. You wear a special symbiote suit that grants you superhuman strength, the ability to create energy constructs of anything you can imagine, the ability to fly through outer space, and protection from psychic attacks. The personification of the universe known as the Expanse has selected you to be the protector of the universe. There are enemy agents all over the world who want to steal your symbiote and harness its power to take over the world. There are also entities from other universes who want to destroy you so that they can take over the universe. You are currently in your office at CIA HQ. You can either go visit your CIA mission handler to receive a new mission, or fly into space and ask the Expanse for a new mission. Wayne's life is very busy, but he enjoys it. Um... You can say, your life is very busy, but you enjoy it. Here we go. So last episode, I went to the Expanse and asked for a mission. This time, I'll talk to my CIA mission handler. By the way, all these Weapon Ultra AI Dungeon 2 videos are like self-contained adventures, so you don't have to watch any of the other ones to understand what's happening in this one, if that makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to go see my CIA mission handler and ask for a new mission. So let's see what they've got for us. You walk down a long hallway in CIA HQ to a room where you can meet your mission handler. You arrive at the room. Outside the door, a sign reads, Mission Handler, Jenny Sparks. You walk inside. There's a young woman wearing a black business suit sitting at a desk. I'm going to say, Hello, Agent Sparks. I'm here for a new mission. Jenny Sparks nods. I'm going to say, What new mission do you have for me? The planet Pluto has been destroyed, Jenny says. What the fuck? Destroyed, you say? By what? The planet Pluto has been destroyed by a being known as Gali, who has taken the planet into his control and is terraforming it into his own image. Oh my goodness. I'm going to say... Is Gali threatening to do that to the entire solar system? Yeah, like, what is, I guess, what's the risk? Like, for one, it sucks that he destroyed Pluto. I mean, that hit, that is, like, a big problem. But does Gali actually want to even, like, attack the Earth or the galaxy or the universe? Yes, Ginny says. He must be stopped. My goodness. Okay. So I'm going to say, what are Gali's powers? I can't believe Pluto, really. He destroyed Pluto. That's such a, like... 
specific thing. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a villain be introduced that way before. I remember Eggman like blew up the moon or whatever, like part of it in like a Sonic Adventure game. That was pretty crazy. Gally is an incredibly powerful being from the far reaches of the galaxy. He has complete control over every particle in his body, allowing him to transform himself into any shape. It is almost impossible to defeat him. Goodness, I'm going to say, luckily, I can create anything I can imagine out of energy. So I can adapt just as well to anything he transforms into. I'll head to Pluto now and deal with him myself. Okay, so this is definitely going to be an interesting challenge. I, I didn't expect to get such a crazy cosmic quest from the CIA. I'm used to the Expanse giving me crazy missions like that. Uh, but let's see how this goes. You must be careful, Ginny says. Gally has vast amounts of knowledge and experience. He may very well be able to predict what you will do before you do it. Hmm. I'm going to say then I suppose I'll have to be as unpredictable as possible. Okay, so that actually does seem like a legitimate issue. So not only can Galley transform into literally anything, but Galley also is practically precognitive. Also, you must leave immediately. Galley has already destroyed the Plutonian army and has all of Pluto under his control. It won't be long before he gets to Uranus as well, so you must stop him quickly. Oh, great. Okay, cool. So I'm going to fly off towards Pluto at incomprehensible speeds. Also, this is a universe where Pluto was inhabited by, like, aliens, and there's such a thing as, like, a Plutonian army, because now it's even worse. Like, it's not just that he destroyed, like, an uninhabited planet far off in the solar system. He, like, destroyed, like, a planet that had, like, a culture and people. You fly through space at incomprehensible speeds towards Pluto. After several hours, you arrive at the dwarf planet. Immediately, you see the issue. The entire planet has been torn to shreds. I'm going to say, Galley. Show yourself. Also, I'm flying at incomprehensible speeds, but it still takes me several hours to get to Pluto. Slow, slow flyer, so too slow. <laughs> doo -doo, ding, doo -doo. From out of the planet, Galley appears. He is a strange being made up of different particles swirling around each other in a shape resembling that of a star. I've been expecting you, superhero, Galley says. Okay. I'm going to say, I guess I don't really have anything to say. I've more or less come to destroy him. So I need to think of something. He's made out of particles, and his whole thing is that he's able to arrange particles. But if I could paralyze his particles, maybe trap him in like a stasis field or something, then he wouldn't be able to shift. Then if I could feel if I could fill the stasis field with like antimatter or something, it should be able to destroy his individual particles. So I'm going to attempt to summon an energy construct around Galley to act as a stasis field to prevent Galley from being able to move. Okay, so if I can prevent him from moving any of his particles, then that can prevent him from transforming, hopefully. You attempt to create a stasis field around Galley. To your surprise, the field holds. The energy that composes Galley struggles violently against the field, but it's held in place. Ha, huh, you say. Now I have you. Are you sure? Says Galley. And then I'm going to attempt to hmm, flood the stasis field with antimatter. Hmm. 
Ooh, I know what I can do. Because I'm trying to figure out how would I produce antimatter. So I'm going to attempt to summon an energy construct inside of the stasis field that produces antimatter. My goal is to, so I guess, to submerge Dali in antimatter in order to destroy every particle of his body. Yeah, so if I can destroy all of Dali, then I don't think he'll be able to do anything. You know, like, I think this is a pretty good way to kill really almost anybody, I would say. You summon antimatter into the stasis field. As soon as the antimatter comes in contact with Gally, it begins to annihilate every single particle that composes him, and he struggles even more violently against the stasis field. Okay, I'm going to attempt to maintain the stasis field long enough for the antimatter to completely eat away at Gally. So I'm going to have to make sure that this works. It's interesting that Galley predicted that I would show up. Excuse me, but didn't predict that I would create the stasis field. Maybe Galley was too overconfident. Galley is torn apart atom by atom as the antimatter continues to annihilate him. Finally, you release Galley, or rather, there's not much left to release. You have beaten Galley. How do you feel? You ask Jenny. I feel great. Why would... Why would I ask Ginny how she feels? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's weird to say that. It's fine to ask her how she feels, but that feels kind of random, I guess. Like, the first thing that I would say to Ginny would be that I, like, defeated Gally. But what I should do first is um, I'm going to attempt to destroy any remaining particles of Galley using an energy construct antimatter pistol. You want to make sure that there's nothing left of Galley. Yeah, so if Galley was planning to like essentially reshape the entire solar system in his image, and he was like this super being that could transform into anything, then I need to make sure that he's like gone, gone. Galley's particles are annihilated by the antimatter pistol. You have won. There is nothing left of Galley. And then it says you have beaten the game. I'm going to get rid of the part where it says you've beaten the game. So now I'm going to fly back to Ginny's office and report that Galley has been defeated. This seemed like a pretty fast mission. Um, the last adventure I did involved me having to face off against like psychic jellyfish that were trying to take over the entire galaxy, which is wild. Um, this was also pretty wild, but it felt easier to handle. That's great news, Ginny says. The Eternals are safe now. What happens now, you ask? Now I make sure that the rest of the world doesn't find out about the Eternals, Ginny says. She keeps saying the Eternals. What are the Eternals? Yeah, I don't know what she's referring to. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. The Eternals are a group of 15 people across the world with special abilities. They cannot be detected by normal humans and have other various powers. They are also unable to procreate, so the group will eventually die out when I die. Wait, what? I'm going to say, are you one of the Eternals? Yeah, she said that they'll die out when she dies, which seems to show that their like lives are connected. So let's see. This sounds interesting. 
learning some lore. Yes, I was given my name by Alan. He's also one of the Eternals. And as is my mentor, David. I'm going to say, was Gally one of the Eternals? Do 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 do. Gally is not an eternal. He is a strange being that arrived from somewhere. He claims that he's from the future and that our actions will cause the end of everything. He seeks to change the future to his favor. Interesting. Hmm. So Gally wasn't just trying to reshape the solar system in his image. He was also trying to kill the 15 Eternals. What does he, what did he think the Eternals were going to do to one day ruin the future? This is interesting. You go and do a mission only to learn that the person that you were fighting essentially was supposed to be like saving the future. David Allen, myself, and the rest of the Eternals have tried to discern the future. Most likely he saw us kill billions of humans and tried to prevent it by killing us. Billions of humans? Hmm. Do you and the Eternals have any reason to want to kill billions of humans? Yeah, that actually is very concerning. Like now I'm trying to figure out whose side I'm on. No, we see the potential of humanity and we believe that with our guidance, the human race will achieve greater things. What if humanity rebelled against the Eternals? Yeah, I feel like Gally might be on to something. If the Eternals are trying to shape humanity. If humanity fights back, what will the Eternals do? Then we would have to destroy humanity. It's as simple as that. I'm going to say, it sounds like Gali comes from a future where humanity rebelled against the Eternals. If Gali came from our future, then that means that the Eternals will rebel against humanity. You mentioned that the Eternals would die with you. Do you have some connection to the Eternals that causes them to die if you die? I might have to take down Jenny. Yeah, they seem like this seems pretty bad, actually. Um. I am the first Eternal. The Eternals are my children. If I die, then they die too. Interesting. David's her mentor, and yet she's the mother of the Eternals? Hmm. Why is it that you don't believe I guess I'm going to say, Jenny, what are your powers? Let's figure out what she can do real quick. Because I'm probably going to have to kill Jenny, like right now. I have powers over water. I can control nearby water within a certain range. I can also sense where there's water. So I can usually tell when it's raining somewhere in the world. Also, I'm immortal. 
Hmm. You're immortal, but you can be killed. Question mark? I'm gonna I'm gonna phrase it as a question. She mentioned that they would die when she died. I can be killed, or rather, I will die if I'm ever exposed to a vacuum. Even a small amount of oxygen would kill me. Gally wanted to kill me by letting my station fall out of the sky. Instead, he killed Alan when his station fell out of the sky. Wait, what? I'm actually really confused by that. Because I imagine, are we in a space station right now? Fuck. Is CIA HQ in a space station now? Like, because I, don't I use oxygen? And exposed to a vacuum sounds the opposite of being exposed to oxygen. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I kind of want to retry the whole thing. Let me retry that whole thing, because that actually confused me. Um, I'm immortal in the sense that I can't die by old age or disease. Doesn't mean I can't die. So what happens if the Eternals rebel, you ask? That won't happen. So that's interesting, because uh, I didn't even think about asking that. Like, what if the Eternals rebelled against her? So I'm going to say, Jenny, why don't you believe Allie? Because that, that actually is just a good question. You know, Gally's straight up telling you that you guys are going to, like, kill billions of humans. And yet Ginny's like, nah, nah, there's no way. Nah. Mm -mm. I trust my children. If they say that Gally is lying, then he's lying. Alan and David have already confirmed the story. What? I'm going to say what evidence do you have that the Eternals won't kill billions of humans? You sound willing to kill billions of humans if they rebel. I'm still not convinced. Not at all. Do -do 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 -do. I never said I was willing to kill billions of humans. I would if I had to, but I'm fairly certain that won't happen. You don't know that. What if the Eternals rebel? They won't. But what if they do? So, I don't know why I would keep asking, what if the Eternals rebelled or whatever? Also, she's the one who's contradicting herself. Um, I can't trust her. And for that, I got to kill her. So I'm going to attempt to create an energy construct of a ninja behind Ginny to choke her out. Well, I guess to choke her to death. Because we really do need to kill Ginny like, right now. I don't know. I don't trust her. I honestly think Gally is right. Gally is 100% right. You take a moment to gather all the oxygenated... Whoa, wait, what? You take a moment to gather all the oxygenated blood in your body and form it into an energy construct of a silent and deadly assassin. The construct stands behind Ginny, waiting for you to give the word, which you do. And then it says, sorry I lied to you earlier. I don't, I don't know who... Wait, does, does Ginny say that? This, sorry I lied to you earlier? Says Ginny. 
coming up. I'm going to like give the signal to the ninja. Yeah, like killer, like killer, like right now. I, I don't have any time to waste. It's interesting that it said I gather all the oxygenated blood in my body to form a construct of a silent assassin. You signal the construct to move on Ginny, and for a split second she appears frightened, but then she closes her eyes. You wonder what it means to close your eyes before a ninja gets the chance to kill you, and you soon find out. Okay. I'm gonna watch. This is like really fucked up, but to be honest, it just didn't seem like a good move to keep her alive. Gotta go for it. Gotta go. Billions of humans. The construct passes right through Ginny's head, and you find that she was never there at all. The real Ginny was on the other side of the room. No, 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 hold on. Uh, my laptop fell asleep. The fuck? Wait a minute. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I have a second laptop that I was using as like a light source, and it just blacked out. I think it, like, rebooted or whatever. Okay, hold on. The real Ginny was on the other side of the room, having known all along that you were trying to kill her with a fake video call. Video call? That shit must have been, like, a fucking hologram. Video call my dick. Video... Who the fuck is video calling? That's not a video call. <laughs> Let's see with a hologram. Like a hologram makes more sense with a video call. Okay, holy shit. This is spicy. I'm going to say, I won't let you kill humanity. Yeah, this is, this is actually getting really crazy. So, I need to take her out. I need to take her down, like, right now. <laughs> this, is, this is really bad. You turn around and see the real Ginny there. She's glaring at you. You won't let me? What are you going to do about it, meat bag? She says angrily. She then lifts you in the air with one hand and begins crushing your bones. Oh my gosh, she's, like, crushing the water, and she's using the water in your bones to, like, break them down. That's fucking wild. Okay. Um, I'm going to, um, command the ninja construct to attack the real Jenny. Come on. Oh, shit. Uh, so this is actually really interesting, to be honest. I, I like where the story went. It seemed very cut and dry until it just wasn't. Oh, fuck. You attempt to control the construct again, but to no avail. It seems the real Ginny has managed to block your attempts at controlling her. Whoa. Your attempts at controlling your energy assassin. What's wrong? She asked, a creepy grin spreading across her face. Uh, fuck. Okay. So if I can't use the construct... Um, I can't, like, not have water in my body. <laughs> like, my mind's like, how do you even, how do you even stop this? Okay, I'm going to attempt to summon an energy construct of a one-ton weight above Ginny's head. My goal is to crush Ginny with the one-ton weight before she can break every bone in your body. Okay. Here's the hoping that like, you know, we're not just gonna like eat shit and die on this. <laughs> Dropping a ton on someone normally is enough to do the do. You try to concentrate on the one ton weight, but you break concentration when you feel a rib crack. Please stop resisting. It'll be over soon. 
Gosh, Jenny's so fucking demented. Okay. Um, I need to do something simple. If I can't concentrate on what I'm trying to do. See, I have water in my body. I can't, like, not have water in my body. Um, energy constructs aren't going to help. Ooh, attempt to fly towards Jenny and punch her in the face with my superhuman strength. Something just basic. Like, I can fly and I'm super strong. She's holding me in the air. But that doesn't mean that I can't still fly and still hit her. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to try. Ooh. We ran out of time. What was the last action? Did I goot her? You fly towards her as fast as you can, but your momentum is stopped by one punch to the face, which sends you spiraling out of control. Oh my gosh, she punched me? You uncontrollably pass through the floor and through the ground floor of the building. Goodness. So I attempt to fly towards Jenny, and Jenny's like, bitch, why is she so strong? She said that she could control water. <laughs> Did she make like an ice fist or something? So I'm going to take this as like another L. Uh, all of these AI Dungeon 2 Weapon Ultra videos are like self-contained, like one-shot adventures. So that you don't have to like watch all of them to understand the story. So I'm going to say that the way that this one ends is that uh, Jenny Sparks defeats Weapon Ultra. She like clapped the shit out of him. Uh, and the Eternals try to like make humanity better, but humanity rebels, um, and the Eternals then kill billions of humans. Gally then comes back in time to try and stop the Eternals, but then I kill Gally only to learn about like what the Eternals are doing, and it's just a time loop, and we're stuck in a time loop. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on this video? Definitely make sure to check out the other Weapon Ultra videos I've done on the channel. I have a playlist with all the Weapon Ultra videos in them. Um, and make sure you check out my other AI Dungeon 2 videos. I make AI Dungeon 2 videos every day. Um, if you want to see my longest AI Dungeon 2 series, make sure you check out Jet Starlight and Xena Fairy Monster Hunters. That series has 54 episodes. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one only, logging out. I'll see you guys on our Discord, link in the description, and in our next video. Peace. Check it out.